In this video I will talk about spermidine and sources, uh, food sources of this substance and its uh, uh, connection to longevity. So it's uh, optimizing longevity through autophagy and spermidine. Okay, let's go. As always, I recommend you to download the presentation as a PDF file from the link in the description and you can get access to the sources of information and uh, then you can do your own research. So it is actually much better. And uh, my opinion uh, is, uh, uh, as I'm a scientist uh, in, with PhD in physics and mathematics, I'm not a medical professional. What I recommend is uh, cannot be considered as uh, medical advice. So make your research and uh, think for yourself. I have no responsibility for the result if you do anything uh, according to this information presented. Okay, let's go. Autophagy is a process uh, where cells break down and recycle damaged organelles and proteins. This is a mechanism that contributes to extended lifespan and improved health. Regular activation of autophagy is important for cellular health and longevity. Spermidine uh, has been theorized uh, to promote autophagy. Autophagy reduces inflammation, improves lipid metabolism, and regulates cell growth, proliferation, and death. Intermittent fasting optimizes lipid me metabolism. Both fasting and spermidine supplementation are powerful inducers of autophagy. These benefits can be further supported by uh, spermidine role in metabolic health in igniting autophagy. A decline in autophagy with age is linked to reduced levels of spermidine, a natural inducer of this uh, process, I mean uh, autophagy, especially in the immune system and other tissues. Okay, this spermidine, it is relatively a simple molecule. So another key, key benefit of fasting is its ability to reduce chronic or systemic inflammation, also known as inflammaging, a major contributor to aging. Spermidine has similar anti-inflammatory effects, reducing inflammatory markers that are associated with age-related diseases. By promoting autophagy, spermidine uh, can extend lifespan. Enhanced uh, autophagy through a spermidine supplementation supports mitochondrial health by promoting mitophagy, which is a selective degradation of damaged mitochondria. Sorry about this noise. My uh, house in the village is near the road and then sometimes it is noisy. So, uh, okay, uh, autophagy it not only improves energy efficiency but also regulates oxidative stress this is a key factor of aging. Spermidine also helps cells withstand oxidative stress by upregulating heat shock proteins, which act as a cellular shields against damage, uh, just like fasting. Okay, so you see, inflammation is, uh, is a, the source of many um, uh, age-related problems with health. Okay, mitophagy is highly uh, con con is a cellular process that maintains the my uh, my uh, mitochondrial quality by eliminating dysfunctional or uh, super uh, or uh, ex excess excessive mitochondria through autophagy machinery. Okay, so this I was talking about uh, mitophagy many times. So you see, it is actually a uh, process quite complicated, but okay, very important for your health. Uh, health of the mito uh, mitochondria is absolutely important to keep your body healthy and active. Both fasting and spermidine uh, supplementation activate longevity pathways such as IMPK, it is this enzyme, and mTOR. Uh, fasting uh, mTOR, you can click on the, uh, on the link and uh, read uh, more information about mTOR and IMPK. Fasting uh, uh, inhibits mTOR, uh, this is a nutrient sense, sensing pathway that accelerates aging if overactive. Similarly, spermidine inhibits mTOR, amplifying the longevity promoting effects of fasting. Enhanced autophagy is crucial for enhanced longevity. Again, it's quite many publications about spermidine related to this enhanced autophagy. Moreover, increased level of endogenous spermidine are essential to fully activate 
fasting uh, anti-aging effect so it is again certainly uh, spermidine and autophagy work synergistically spermidine administration is linked to increased survival in humans long-term uh, treatment with spermidine increases the health span of male rats and epidemiological studies confirm a strong association between higher dietary spermidine intake and enhanced, uh, pardon, extended uh, health span and reduced mortality in humans. The combination of fasting and spermidine supplementation may provide synergistic effects for health and longevity gain, so it is synergistically work. So you see, uh, it's normally uh, autophagy drops uh, uh, with aging, but uh, sub supplementation with spermidine, it uh, recovers uh, to the level of young body. So both fasting and spermidine are also in improve cardiovascular health, reduce blood pressure and protect the heart. Spermidine significantly boosts uh, blood flow and promotes cardiovascular health. This is very important also. Uh, research shows that spermidine supplementation can delay the onset of cardiovascular disease and prevent kidney damage uh, related to hypertension, mirroring the cardiovascular effects of fasting. Oral supplementation of spermidine extends the lifespan of mice and ex uh, exerts uh, cardioprotective uh, effects, reducing car cardiac, uh, cardiac hypotrophy, which is a sickening of the walls of the of a lower chamber of the heart and preserving diastolic function in old ma mice. A diastolic function, it is how the uh, blood gets into to the heart. So in humans, uh, high levels of dietary spermidine uh, is uh, assessed as, uh, from uh, food questionnaires correlated with reduced blood pressure and the lower incidence of cardiovascular disease. Again, I'm quite also surprised how many uh, publications are related to spermidine and supplementation, spermidine and health benefits of this uh, spermidine. So you see here, uh, quite considerably in aged mice, uh, supplementation with spermidine. Uh, spermidine is added to water, drinking water. And so it is really improves uh, blood circulation. It's quite a lot. An increase in, in the nutritional uh, intake of spermidine is associated with reduced overall and cancer-specific mortality. Uh, spermidine could be used for chemo prevention and clinical therapy of cancers. As we age, circulating spermidine levels decline, contributing to cellular dysfunction through reduced autophagy. However, centenarians uh, tend to have high levels of spermidine and spermine, this is another polyamine uh, linked to longevity. Oral supplementing with sper spermidine uh, has been shown to be spermidine uh, and spermi uh, also spermine has been shown to be safe and well ter tolerated, uh, particularly in mice and older adults at risk of uh, age-related cognitive decline. So there was quite a big uh, clinical trial. Uh, memory performance was moderately enhanced in the spermidine group compared uh, with the placebo group. Yeah, so it's again, you see, spermidine it drops, not uh, radically, but at least uh, like six times probably, or uh, to the age of 80, it drops uh, about three times. So it's quite considerable drop and which uh, related to suppression of autophagy. So you see again that uh, if you consume spermidine-rich food, then the level of spermidine is, in, is increasing and you have a lot of health benefits. So mat matured cheeses have the highest total uh, polyamine content. Uh, so the main polyamine in plant-based uh, products is spermidine, uh, whereas uh, sper spermine content is generally higher in animal-derived uh, foods. So the cheeses like good gouda, uh, brie, parmesan are particularly high uh, in spermidine uh, with up to 20 milligram per 100 gram. Edible mushrooms are another excellent uh, source of spermidine, uh, providing 8.8 milligram per 100 gram, while organ meats uh, such as chicken liver offer 4.8 milligram per 100 gram. 
red meat contains uh, about 3.7 milligram per 100 gram so i don't consider any sources uh, plant-based uh, sources of spermidine because again uh, i consider that the best diet would be uh, modified uh, carnivore diet with mostly with uh, animal based products but also um, mushrooms can be included cooking methods uh, might matter uh, too boiling and grilling can reduce polyamine levels in food up to 64 percent while microwave and so sauce with their uh, so sauce with their uh, cooking method preserve uh, these vital compounds allowing maximizing spermidine intake while staying in ketosis okay again so this is a uh, cheese okay if you can buy this cheese in thailand i cannot buy it this uh, this cheese is not produced locally and every every imported product is extremely expensive in here in thailand but okay but at least it is healthy it's good but how how much can you eat uh, one day i don't know 100 gram probably too much so mushrooms loaded with many bioactive proteins, uh, essential uh, fatty acids, antioxidant, antioxidants, health boosting vitamins, selenium, copper and other minerals have long been recognized as an important part of healthy diet. So you see that mushrooms are also a very good source of, uh, of the spermidine and uh, it, not only uh, this but a number of other uh, uh, bio, uh, biological active substances which are good for health. Also sometimes considered as vegetable, uh, mushrooms are type of fruit or fungus. Again, so if you will uh, listen to people who promote uh, carnivore diet, uh, they say no, no, no you, you, you have to stay away from mushrooms. Mushrooms are plants, uh, they, they are not plants, they are fruits actually. And again, uh, they, they have this uh, kitchen is, uh, car, uh, is uh, carbohydrate. It is actually, um, again, uh, carnivore diet is excludes any sources of carbohydrate. So it is again, I consider this one. So you have to do, uh, you have to modify it. Mushrooms are source of ketin, which is uh, also not only this uh, biological active substances, but also source of ketin, which is a pre prebiotic uh, that can stimulate growth of beneficial microbiota and inhibit the growth of pathogens. Potential combination of spermidine, ketin, and other bio uh, bioactive components in mushrooms can work synergistically to improve health and extend longevity in humans. In vitro and vivo studies uh, have been demonstrated that treatments with mushrooms or the extracts can significantly extend lifespan and improve health span. Again, so it's again, uh, I consider it is big part of the modified carnivore diet to include mushrooms. Okay, mushrooms again, it's, uh, you can buy quite many different mushrooms or you can grow yourself actually mushrooms, it's very easy. So mushrooms, uh, they have uh, different mechanisms of, uh, of anti-aging properties. So it's again, you can see it. It is uh, quite many and uh, uh, be health benefit in, uh, b benefits uh, you can get from mushrooms. So I recommend, highly recommend to include mushrooms to your diet. Also consumption of ketin has been shown to improve uh, ketin. I mean, you can get ketin from insects, for example, but uh, I believe that mushrooms are more easy and cheaper and always available. So mushrooms are better uh, source of ketin. Consumption of ketin have, ha, has been shown to improve glucose intolerance, increase uh, insulin secretion, uh, normalize levels of lipids in the blood and protect intestinal integrity of the gut epithelium layer in mice on a diet with a high con content of a saturated fat. Again, uh, uh, in these um, uh, trials with uh, laboratory, laboratory experiments with mice, uh, mice is not... Uh, <laughs> so so the, they uh, supply high content of saturated fat, but it's also together with, uh, with uh, grains and other not healthy uh, substances. So it's again, it is... But yet it is working, it is working, so ketin improves uh, this uh, health of the mice. Ketin or its derivative uh, ketosan, ketosan is its derivative, 
appears uh, uh, to have also antiviral, anti-cancer and antifungal activity as well as micro antimicrobial properties and bacteriostatic effect on pathogenic bacteria. So ketazan is the most important ketin derivative. Uh, evidence has shown that ketazan uh, possesses various biological activities, namely antioxidant, anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, immunostimulant, uh, antibacterial and antifungal. Uh, properties. Ketazan uh, has been uh, also reported to contribute to decreased uh, blood pressure. So again, uh, you see mushrooms uh, in, uh, also because they, they have not only spermidin or, and uh, polyamine, polyamine they also have ketin and ketin is uh, very healthy. So how this ketin gets uh, uh, converted to ketazan in, in your guts or maybe in your stomach because people can digest ketin actually in part, at least in part so to maximize longevity it is essential to remain in ketosis again why i'm talking about this so this uh, i propose uh, i believe that uh, for radical lifespan extension you have to stay in ketosis and uh, also practice intermittent fasting and uh, consume nutrient-dense, easily digestible proteins and animal fats. Organ meats, eggs, whey protein concentrate and fermented dairy products are ideal choices as food for the elderly. Yeah, if you want to stay healthy, this is what, what I highly recommend or what I use it, at least. So maybe it works for me, maybe it will not for you. You decide, make your own research. A ketogenic diet extends longevity and health span in adult mice and potentially can extend longevity and health span of humans. As I discussed in my recent videos uh, and presentations, uh, including of prebiotics and probiotics in a ketogenic diet may provide a synergistic effect for radical extension of health span and longevity in humans. So you can go watch these uh, videos. It is quite important, I believe. As I follow one meal a day uh, schedule, also known as warrior diet, warrior, pardon, warrior diet, I often eat about eight big eggs, seven, eight, yeah, sometimes I eat uh, liver and it depends, it depends, but normally I eat every day this um, mushrooms and eggs uh, right. And uh, late afternoon after endurance exercise. So this is not what I am doing. As this is uh, I took from internet this picture, but I will make a video uh, later on how I, I make uh, I, how I I cook uh, this um, um, eggs with mushrooms. It is actually take me five minutes in micro oven uh, to uh, to cook it, and preparation takes uh, actually a few minutes. So it is very, so so easy and affordable again it is cheap and uh, also i recommend to grow mushrooms yourself it is easy and especially uh, growing oyster mushrooms it's easy okay so you see uh, i i also was a little bit surprised uh, when i did this research i was surprised to see how many uh, scientific publications are related to um, the use of spermidine as uh, anti-aging uh, substance, anti-aging supplement, but also ketin, few, so few uh, links to ketin. And okay, so again, uh, I, uh, I didn't pay much attention to uh, spermidine, but I was always recommending and uh, to, to consume mushrooms and uh, with eggs, for example, and uh, yogurt and uh, whey protein so it's really good for health and very uh, so very good for muscle growth to avoid sarcopenia and to stay healthy and again this is yeah so you can we can go to references read a lot of information so okay if thank you for your time if you watch uh, watch this video to the end and again, I share my personal opinion on rejuvenation and radical lifespan extension, and uh, it is only for educational purposes. I give these references. You can do your own research. So again, uh, I'm not medical professional. I am a scientist. I'm a professional scientist, but at least I can think logically. I am not interested in uh, watching in business to make uh, people sick. 
again, I consider I, I, I last 25 years I, I was staying uh, healthy with some problems uh, because I started to consume a lot of fruits and vegetables uh, 10 years ago, about 10, 14 years ago. Uh, when I moved to Thailand, but again, um, it is it was my mistake because I was following the advice of medical professionals, and now it is much better. So I, I changed my diet already 10 years ago, or 12 years ago. I changed my diet, was consuming a lot of these mushrooms with eggs, and it was uh, very beneficial for my health. But again, now I, I'm more focused on radical lifespan extension. And it is so easy and affordable, and uh, so uh, the diet uh, is absolutely uh, the most important uh, part of the, this uh, radical lifespan extension. But also, uh, it's a very cheap way to to get healthy. Okay, if you want to support my channel, at least you can press like and bell buttons. And subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family and again uh, if you want to participate in the project uh, follow links in the my, my uh, description to the video so you can support it uh, with uh, some donations but also you can contact me and uh, you can uh, participate in the project again uh, so I believe that uh, at least I'm 67 years old and I'm quite active and I'm kind of a uh, local celebrity for uh, swimming and cycling so quick and a uh, long time here. So some people already following me uh, in this, uh, trying to follow me because to stay healthy. Okay, but again, they maybe do some cycling, uh, they're not swimming, I'm swimming a lot but at least they try to follow because it helps me uh, to stay healthy and uh, I, I see some rejuvenation in my body so I was talking about this in other videos okay have a wonderful day ciao ciao